The European Press Prize is very important because first of all it recognises universal values of good journalism. It's amazing that throughout Europe there's an instinctive regard, an instinctive recognition of what good journalism is. I was given the special award at the European Press Prize. Two of my articles as news ombudsman uh, were censored uh, by, by the management, by the editor. I continued to do my job, uh, refused censorship, defied all sorts of impositions. Upon that, I was fired. This means a lot about the Turkish state of the Turkish media. The Snowden story has a huge impact because nobody really knew the extent to which states had taken it upon themselves to collect our data, to uh, intrude upon all our activities digitally. The support of the European press during this story was uh, incredibly important to The Guardian. So one was learning lessons all the time about the collaboration that is now possible internationally, not only possible, but sometimes necessary. The new three articles I won this prize for were about immigrants in Moscow, because from the citizens, from Moscovites, from Russians, uh, they, they uh, feel some time oppression and uh, certain level of xenophobia. So they're arrested by police, they have to pay bribes, uh, they live in the terrible conditions, they don't have, uh, they, they, they paid very less for their work. Our investigation was basically a project where we uh, try and find out what is available online without any passwords, without any security, uh, available for anyone to see. For example, uh, airbases, uh, health, um, private information, private pictures, uh, company information that is supposed to be sensitive, um, everything really, it's there. What's truly marvellous, and you see examples in this competition, is when the press, animated by a passion for truth, can combine fact and reason. The piece is about the city of Vukovar, a city which was completely destroyed during the Balkan Wars 24 years ago, and about a bizarre idea of, of some uh, semi-officially, semi-unofficially uh, uh, politics uh, uh, in Croatia to preserve not a city, not a city ruins, but to preserve the state of war because uh, it's, it's uh, much easier to rule the people in a, in a state of war. This was a three-part series about how the supreme leader of Iran, the most powerful individual in the country, had amassed a $95 billion business empire, largely by confiscating the homes of ordinary Iranians. Well, I think, first of all, I wanted to say on all of our behalf that we're really honored to receive the award and um, really appreciate being recognized. It's a huge honor that this prize is awarded across Europe. You don't really see other prizes like that. And secondly, I think this, is, this topic isn't one that is paid a lot of attention to. Uh, you hear a lot about the economy in Iran and sanctions, but you don't hear much about um, the ruling elite and the, the business empire that they have. Well, I think it's very important to get this prize not only for me, but also for my colleagues uh, in the New Times magazine, because uh, it sort of uh, proves that we play our role in, in the whole sort of international media. Coming together as European journalists to express admiration and support for each other is very important. It's about journalistic excellence. I think it is also about encouragement of good journalism, uh, ethical work, uh, and uh, work that will serve the public. I mean, this is a prize, uh, quite young, but it's coming. It's the European Pulitzer. It's strange to, to win a prize like that, uh, coming from a small uh, uh, language as, like Croatian, from a small country like Croatia. And, but it just proved that there is no, uh, you know, small, in, in journalism, there is no small countries and small languages, there is only good story. Awards like this, this one in particular, help bring more attention to the issue and to our work. So thank you very much. The new standard for excellence, the power of the press. We've got the European press power as an example of what really good journalism is.